going on? A smiley with RC Madness. I know I keep changing my spots on where I'm filming at, but right now it's kind of hot outside and where I normally film at is in my garage, so I thought I'd come inside. And the spot that I did the last time in there, I kind of got cluttered with food and stuff like that because I'm redoing my pantry. As always, my favorite soda. Should have waited a minute for that. Let that get a little colder. Anyway, it's been a while since I've done oh a video. And today we're gonna have two unboxing videos. Go ahead and shut that off. Both of them are used RCs. This one came from the guys over at RC Basement. Uh, one heck of a shout out to these guys. They do a live, not really auction, but I don't know, I guess you could say uh, yard sale every other Wednesday. Um, if I remember right, they're out of Colorado. Um, can't really remember a whole lot, but they do mainly crawler stuff, but that yard sale thing that they do is pretty awesome. That's where I think this is the box. Yeah. This is the box come from. Big shout out to Sid over there. Uh, him and his guys are doing an awesome thing, bringing an awesome, good time to the name of RC. I already poked I already opened this thing just because I couldn't wait because it's going to look amazing in my collection. But as you tell, I was like, man, what the heck you got in there? Was that a controller? And I was that a new radio set? No, this is a snap on edition. Trax SST. Look at that thing. And it just so happens to be Rat Fink Edition as well, which I am a super, super huge fan of Rat Fink. Upstairs in one of my rooms, I've got a great big flag. I've got decals out there in the garage on my toolbox. Heck, he even threw in the original man. And would you look at that? This is the snap on box. They just redid it on the inside, or they pulled it out. Now, I don't have one of these trucks. I've been looking at them for a while, and I kept on looking and looking at them, and the one day I was at work, during the yard sale, whatever the case may be, and I don't know if it was like, his partner going in on it, it's just one of those buddies that hangs out the shop, but they posted it up, I paid 50 bucks for this thing. These things newer, like 100, and well, just little tracks on the stamp on edition, are like 130, 140. I haven't tried running it yet. I mean, it's dusty, it's got a little bit of dirt. I don't care because this thing, I'm more than likely, is just gonna end up a shelf clean. Because look at that thing. It's freaking just badass. I mean, Snap On, yeah, it's cool. I, I support Snap On here and there, but it's all about the rat thing, baby. I mean, check that thing out. Let's see if we can get it uh Yeah, look at that bad boy. That is just awesome. Now, it does have a brush motor. It looks like he included a battery. Um, I'll throw it on a charger later. I'll probably get a run video of it. Yeah, there's a battery in there. A little brush motor. I mean, it, it isn't going to be anything super cool that's going to be out running or whatever the case may be. But again, I bought it because I am a Red Fink collector. We've got a couple of Red Fink keychains. I've got the get in there. My one hat. If you look in some look back on some of the other videos, the green hat. That's actually a Red Fink hat. All these things are smaller than what I'm used to. But I mean, it's just a killer killer. I mean, the only thing that was wrong with it was battery door that's gonna be like a buck on ebay or something like that but awesome awesome thing thanks guys over there rc basement but Sid, you promised me a shirt you said you'd hook me up sorry just messing with you i know you did say that i'll buy one dude as long as you got it in my fat kid size 3x now this box is gonna be kind of hard to open um, if you go back in some of my videos, or a couple videos ago, I 
put on what got me into RC. So this is another one of the vehicles that I remember from my childhood that I've always tried buying and I always got outbid and this time I did not. Um, my dad had one when I was younger, I couldn't touch it, anything like that, you know, he had a grasshopper. But I've always tried to get them, I never won. This one I won. It came from North Carolina, so it took a little bit to get here. Um, one of the names that I didn't mention in the vintage RC style from like toy grade was Radio Shack, and Radio Shack put out some awesome vehicles back in the day, and this is one of the vehicles. It's supposed to have the original box, it's supposed to have the original uh, directions for it. If I remember right, it runs. I don't know when it's going to run today because I don't have batteries for it right now, but I'll have it in the next couple days. I know it's hurting to do it. Get it out of there. I remember this box being a lot bigger than this, I'm not gonna lie, so it's like what the heck. Here we go. This is the Radio Shack 4x4 off-roader. I have no idea what scale this is. Does it even say what scale it is on here? I don't think back in the day they really do scale. But it's full function, reverse forward, reverse, or reverse left, right, forward, left, right. Um, this thing was put out in like 85 and sold for like 100 bucks. And if my memory serves me correctly, I paid, with shipping, like 65 for this thing. I got a tape on the bottom, you got a tape on the bottom. So I'm going to try and, oh my god, it's there. Okay, apparently when I was this big, this truck was this big to me, and yeah, I'm looking at it now, and it's a lot smaller, but man, is this thing super, super cool. So, original directions, he did not disappoint. Look at that thing. Oh my god, the sure weight of that, wow. This was like the coolest truck to me, and I always wanted to mess around with it, but my dad, you know, wouldn't let me because it was his, not mine. Um, I'll get this up closer to the camera, but you know, it's an old Ford yellow truck. They make a blue version of this. Um, I don't think it's, yeah, it's four wheel drive. For some odd reason, I think. But this was like one of those super, super cool trucks. I mean, this one's really well taken care of. If I remember right, it has like high low gear up. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so instead of high low, it's fast and slow, or F and S. This thing takes like four C batteries and a nine volt, just the truck. Yeah, the nine volt goes in first and then Two batteries and then two batteries on the side. It looks like somebody popped a hole in there, so I hope this thing still runs. If not, it'll be a cool shell queen, but I bought it thinking it was a running truck. But sometimes I've been on something, I get super, super excited on when I see cool stuff like that. How about the square radio? How awesome is that? I'm automatically trans trans transformed, I'm automatically put back in 19 to the 80s. Look at that thing. Even it has an on off switch on that thing. I'm gonna have to get some batteries. I'm gonna have to get these things ready to take. This thing is awesome. Hey, that truck with this truck here. Look at that. This is like 124 scale, something like that. That is just, that's awesome. Get a close up of this thing. My camera is dying. It's 
on off switch on the truck. Looks like you could put rechargeable batteries in it at one point in time. But how cool is that thing? Now, I don't remember any of the lights or anything like that lighting up. I don't see any wires going to them, but... Oh, just a super, super cool rig. Can't wait. This will probably need run once and then I'll put it on a shelf. But yeah, there you go. Two unboxing videos of some super, super cool RCs. Yeah, I'm gonna mower for a minute. So we are, the channel is currently sitting at 11 and change for views. And my one giveaway of the little car hasn't been met yet. I think I said like 50 subscribers and I would give it away. But that just isn't what happened. So I think I'm gonna do another giveaway here. I mean, we're at 11 and change. I'll stick it at like say, I don't know, 12 and show. Oh, let's go 13. 1300 views. I've got 21 subscribers. So let's go 1300 views. And let's make it 30 subscribers. And I'll do a $20 gift card to your local hobby town. Um, so, but in order to do that, as soon as it hits, the first person on this video, when it hits, when I hit 1,300 views or 30 subscribers, let's, yeah, let's go either one. So give me 30 subscribers and 1,300 views, or 13 plus would be awesome, but I mainly want that 30 subscribers, and I'll do a $20 gift card giveaway to your local hobby town. Or if you don't have a hobby town close to you, I'll contact you, you tell me what your local hobby shop is, I'll call in, I'll get their information, and I'll do the gift card to them. Um, let's see if we can't do that in, I don't know, today's Saturday. How about next Saturday? That means there needs to be nine more subscribers by next Saturday to hit 30 subscribers. But at the same time, I'd still like to see that 1,300 views. I mean, right now, it's seriously 11 and change. I think it's like 11.30, 11.40 something. Ah. Uh, Anyway, we'll go ahead and put that out there. And um, yeah, if I've earned a like, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Um, if I've earned a subscribe, go ahead and hit that button too. And if not, go ahead and hit your thumbs down button. Leave your comments. All feedback is appreciated. If you got something cool to say or you want to show off your RCs, go ahead and post them up. I'd love to see all your guys' cool RCs. Until next time, this is Miley for RC Madness. How will you RC today?